Every day I'm shuffling. Hello and welcome to this last video about the composite optimization in the video series about the skateboard optimization um, tutorial. In this case we will be looking at the ply bundle stacking optimization or it is also called the shuffling optimization where the order or the sequence of this um, laminate gets changed. Why? Because maybe you want, don't want have to have something like a certain amount of successive plies where the fiber point into the same directions or you want to specify a cover ply or you want to, to pair uh, some, some plies together 45 and minus 45 for example and all of that what I just told you we will now do with this skateboard tutorial. Now to start this process we will import in a fresh HyperMesh desktop environment we will import the file created from the sizing optimization which is called sizing underscore shuffling something like that point three, uh, dot fem and import that and as we look at it we can see it has more plies it has 22 plies not 20 and this is what because the bigger plies, like the zero degree on the on the top, they get split into different plies because we specified the manufacturable thickness to be 0 0.5 millimeters. So we're saying that we can just buy ply plies with 0 0.5 millimeter thickness. So we have to make 1.5 millimeters as three plies. And this is what happened here. We have three successive plies of 0 0.5 millimeters. Um, which is in total 1.5 millimeters and three successes is one too much and that's, we, uh, and, and, um, that's why we want to specify that the maximum numbers of successive plies is two for each angle. To start this process we go into analysis optimization and there we have this composite shuffle and there it is already inputted but Normally it looks like this, but if you want to see that you have to press on the shuffle and select the created free size, um, the shuffling design variable and go to parameters and now you can specify those terms we talked about. So press on edit and you have a maximum number of successes and you want to specify this like um, specify number four and we specify each angle here minus 45 90 and for each we want to have just two uh, maximum number of successors and that V successor is the percentage which you tolerate um, this um, this maximum successor to be violated so 1% nothing so we just want two not more. We also want to have a cover ply, one cover ply, and you can see here to specify the angle, you can say, okay, zero degree is correct in this case, just for looks and optics. Okay, just press return and update. And we just want to add a pairing constraint. So 45 and minus 45 are paired together. That has reasons in the, in the torsion that they don't have to, they have to be in, uh, close to each other because if they are not, um, you have asymmetric torsion displacement and you don't want that. So um, we add this pairing constraint and update a second time and go return. And the last thing we want to do, we want to specify that the laminate gets outputted as a HTML file at the end of the optimization so we can see how the optimization process changed the orientation or sequence of the laminate. To uh, specify this, we go to control cards, next, next to output. And here we can specify a second output and the keyword in this case is design and we want the frequency to be all. And um, that's about it. So start this optimization process by clicking on optimization, optistruct and optistruct and 
then the obdestruct procedure will begin. And what I want to tell you also is that I found a difference between the optimization I did and the optimization which is in the tutorial because there the result gets a maximum displacement of 0, 1.8 and 1.9 and I also recognize that this change is there since the uh, sizing optimization as my sizing optimization results in more plies than the sizing optimization in the tutorial here so i have one 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 ply more and therefore i don't come close to this uh, to this two two millimeter displacement i don't know really what i don't really know why but um um maybe some maybe you know that maybe it was some input error but i don't think so maybe the sol solver handles it differently today as it did when uh, the the tutorial was written but if you do know why i would really be happy to hear about that uh, in the comments below but we can check that here too and see what what we will get here so if you follow the process along you have 1.3 millimeters uh, displacement in the first load step and in the second load step it is 1.236 millimeter yeah so not much of a difference between um, between iteration uh, 0 and iteration 2 so before and after the shuffling optimization so it's more a problem with, within the sizing optimization all right um, this design HTML I want to show you quickly it is in the folder and it's called something with shuffling underscore like that uh, free dot shuff right so here you can see the the different degrees and how they changed in the orientation here you can see the zero degree has much plies um, successive successive to each other and here you have the maximum number of successive plies is two and so the constraint is not violated so thanks for watching. If you have comments or want to ask something, I would be happy to hear about that in the comments. And if you liked that video, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to this channel if you want to hear more about uh, Hyperworks or Optistruct tutorials in the future. Let me know. Uh, thanks for